Good evening. I'm Yusuf Abramji and welcome to Crime Watch. Tonight we focus on car hijackings. 16,325 cars were hijacked in the 2017-18 period. While these crime stats showed a decrease of about 2,3% in the vehicle-related crime category when compared to the same period the previous year, motorists are still living in fear. With an average of, what, 45 cars being hijacked every day, criminals are continuing running amok. And now, for some real crime videos. Take a look at how being situationally aware saved, the motor, saved these motorists from being hijacked. It's incredibly important that you don't drop your guard even when you approach your own driveway. Did you notice uh, in those two videos how quickly the victims managed to escape? Now, let's go to Durban where hijackers not only took the car but valuables as well. This is a highly professional hijack gang in action in Durban recently. They each target a victim, they get into the car within seconds, but they're not done there. The rest of the gang robs each victim, who luckily stay calm and hand over their valuables. It's all over in less than a minute. Very scary indeed. To understand the man behind these crimes, I sat down this week with a former hijacker who served time behind bars for his crimes, known as Brati, to find out from him exactly how they marked their victims and here's what he had to say. We were hijacking. Our job, our, uh, our daily job was hijacking. We were hijacking cars. And uh, we were having people who were buying cars from us, who were telling, telling us uh, this is the cars that they want for a day, uh, the target. So we will go there knowing that we need cars like this and then we bring them to them and then they pay us immediately. And how do you get to know what cars to hijack? Do you get orders? Yes, we get orders. Uh, there, will be, there will be brands our names of the cars that they need for that day. They'll be telling us that, okay, today we need uh, two or three Ranger, Ford Rangers, or uh, Mercedes-Benz, and then they just give us the, the number of the, the, the quality of the cars that they want. And then for, for the whole day, we know that by this time, we have to make sure that those cars are at the, the buyer. And what do you get paid for a car? It depends with the brand. For the Ranger, uh, they pay us seven, eight thousand rand per car, and then Mercedes Benz, it will be uh, four to five thousand rand. Tell me about the gang that you were involved in. We were four in a gang. We were four. There is one who drives, and then three. On these three, it's me uh, uh, and these two guys who who takes cars. And then we know which uh, people we target, uh, especially ladies. We target ladies at the robot. Sometimes we will follow you from a mall, and then immediately you reach the robot. We, we target the robot. Immediately it says caution. That's why we drive close to you. And then sometimes we might bump you so that you can come out and think that, uh, okay, it's an accident. Immediately you come out, you might have bank cards. For us, it's an extra income. 
and then you might have uh, cash with you or if you don't have cash you've got cars uh, a cart we take you with so that while they are busy taking out the trigger we will be drawing your withdrawing your money let me let's talk about that we're finding more and more victims be taken hostage so you take somebody hostage there's a reason for that explain the reason for me and what do you do to the victims that you take along what we do is uh, actually we don't harm anyone we just scare you with guns we take you and then we put you somewhere where we think it's more safer for us and then we force you to give us uh, the pin number most of the ladies when they see a gun they panic so immediately they panic we tell her we tell her straight that if you don't want to die give us the pin number and then we go straight to the uh, uh, ATM two goes to the ATM and then two uh, stays with you so that we threaten you that if it doesn't withdraw, we tell those ones to pull a trigger. And then that's where we know that, obvious, you'll be scared if you are a woman. And then you'll tell us the, the right pin numbers. We withdraw, we wait. Uh, we withdraw normally around 10, 11. And then we wait with you until the following uh, 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 morning so that you can withdraw again. What happens if somebody fights back? And have you had people fighting back? Sometimes, especially men, they do fight back, risking, also knowing that what they are doing is a risk. They can be in danger. So when they fight back, it draws attention of other uh, motor vehicles. We run away. We leave it and then we go and target the other areas. Do you very often hijack people in the driveways? Yes. Most, most, most of the people that we, we hijack, we, we hijack them on the driveways because that's where we can do it quickly, but we also check if it's safe for us to do so. Immediately they enter the gate. While the gate is opening, that's where we rush quickly, before it can open wide, because most of them, they, 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 they can get an access to reverse. We just block them, and then we go, they take the car, and then it's an easy target for us. Hmm. We hear more from Brati after the break on what vehicles are most targeted. We are also taking your calls after the break, so don't go anywhere.